When you're starting to learn instruments, it can be extremely daunting. There are so many to look at and learn. It's very hard to know one from the other. I often find it easier to start with a group or family of instruments. And my favourite one to start with, especially when I'm teaching, is artery forceps. If you can identify artery forceps on your tree of perhaps 80 to 100 instruments, then you'll probably immediately cut your tree by half with the knowledge you have. Now you may not know what they're called, for they're all named after people which makes it just a little bit more confusing, but at least you can tell what it's for. So an artery forcep comes in many sizes and guises, but they will all have the same qualities, and I think that's a good way to start. So I have a wee selection of artery forceps here, and it is just a small selection, there are literally dozens of them, but it will give you a clue as to where you're going. So every single one of them will have scissor-like handles, and every single one of them will have a ratchet, like this. Most instruments are right-handed, which means that when you squeeze them together and push forward with your thumb, it undoes the ratchet. This is quite a tricky skill to master with your left hand, because then the non-dominant hand is working a right-handed instrument. So you have to squeeze it together and pull your thumb backwards, which is an unnatural motion, while pushing your fingers forward. It does take some practice and it is absolutely possible to master it. But bear in mind, it's not what it's designed to do, so it is always going to be tricky. And more often than not, it's your non-dominant hand that's doing something that is unnatural for that instrument. So, scissor-like handles, a ratchet, and the other key giveaway for an artery forcep is horizontal striations. So if I open up this, this is a straight Spencer Wells. It's just a medium-sized artery forcep. And I bring it close. Hopefully we can just see its jaws. So here we have these horizontal striations. Now artery forceps can come with or without teeth and they would be up here. For example the counterpart of this with teeth would be called a Cocker's artery forcep but this is a Spencer Wells. Some people will call it a Rochester Peen, some people will call it a Mayo. It's very regional and although there may be slight difference in between a Mayo and a Rochester Peen for example I would surmise that most people can't tell them apart. So here we have a small one. This is a straight mosquito. A mosquito is a small artery forcep used for small vessels or shallow tissues in plastics and vascular surgery. It's a very lightweight instrument. But again, we have these scissor like candles, the ratchet to keep it shut. And if I open it up, you'll see. I can just get the light and angle about right. We have horizontal striations. I hope that's clear enough. Now they come curved, straight, toothed, non-toothed. Sometimes the curve will be in line with the handles. Sometimes it will be at 90 degrees to the handles, like a Kryles artery forcep or a Grey Turner or Mayo Rochester pain, any of these things. But again, the same thing, the horizontal striations for grip the ratchet handle and the scissor like handle. Here we have a Negus, much like a Leahy or a Shaughnessy nearly, again with the same striations for grip. So it is an artery forcep, it is a clamp, some people will call it a hemostat, it's more of an American thing. But if you can identify them, even just starting with the smallest one on your most common tree, for example, a cryl or a mosquito, usually they'll be in fives, tens, fifteens. So you can immediately identify 15 of the instruments on the tree just by knowing that it has this, this and this. You can then start to work out what the rest in the tree are. And more often than not, you'll have two sizes of artery forcep on your tree, one for shallower work and one for deeper work. Now whether that be extremely shallow with baby mosquitoes, small mosquitoes um, or normal mosquitoes, or whether you're in cryles and males, or whether you're in grey turners and roberts, you will usually have at least two sizes on any tree. That gives you a fighting chance of knowing the rest of the instruments. I hope that helps.